Hi guys, um, in this video I wanted to show you Acacia denticulosa, commonly known as sandpaper wattle. And it's actually, I don't really ID acacias very well to species, but as a group, they are, there's huge diversity to them. Um, a lot of them are concentrated in Australia, but also some in Africa, Asia, and the Americas. And this one's called sandpaper wattle because the leaves, well this is actually phyllode, I'll go into more detail later, are thick, um, rough, and they're just like a sandpaper. And look at the, the all those warts on the on the stem. It's just such a unique species. Um, sandpaper wattle, um, from all the research I did online, everyone said it grows really fast, it can flower within the first year, but also it requires almost perfect drainage, um, such that a lot of times people can't really grow it. Um, I haven't tried to grow it yet, um, but I really want to. And that's the sandpaper part in the name. And why is it called a wattle? And because actually a lot of acacias in Australia are called wattles. I think this is referring to an old way people use acacia wood to build houses or structures. But history isn't really my strong suit. So, um, so yeah. Um, but... Um, Moving on to this um, leaf structure I was talking about. So this is a phyllode. And phyllode is actually just a flattened out modified patio. Um, and this acacia behind me also has phyllodes. Um, so again, you know, you see the leaf coming out and this is the patio and the blade is actually uh, gone. And this is very unique to acacias. A lot of them do this. Um, they, um, so, okay, so all the juvenile leaves in acacias are bipinnate, meaning, you know, they, 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 they branch once and then they branch twice, and they have small leaflets. If you think of a mimosa leaf, for example, um, that's a typical bipinnate leaf, um, but for some acacias, they they quickly transition or slowly um, depending on the species but relatively quickly transition into this phyllodes meaning um, I couldn't find a good 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 example here but you'll see gradually that the petiole part of the leaf starting to flatten and enlarge and become phyllodes like the ones we see above um, and the blades actually goes away and there's also another group of acacia where they're, they retain their bipinnate leaf throughout their life. And some classic ones like Acacia diobata, Acacia um, mernonsii, I don't really know how to pronounce that word. Um, and the Acacia belliana, hopefully I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, well, actually, let me walk over there. Um, sorry if you, yeah, I'm just gonna hold the, keep the camera on and walk over to the Acacia belliana. Um, they retain their juvenile leaves throughout their life and you can see those um, bipinnate structures even when they're adults. And um, people also say that bipinnate leaf species don't propagate as well through cuttings. But again, that's just um, hearsay. I don't really have any first-hand experience with that. Um, well, I guess since I'm walking there, um, I might as well show you some of the other cool things. So this is a Verticordia. Uh, it's in the same family as Eucalyptus. Um, and this is just, I guess, a um, more elevated sandy soil part of the garden that they wanted to grow some of the species that are really susceptible to bad drainage. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so this bush in front of me is Acacia belliana. I don't remember its common name. I think it's Kudamandra wado, but I could be wrong. Um, this plant will be or was in peak bloom a few a couple of months ago. It's just covered in yellow blossoms, and most blossoms in acacias are actually yellow. Um, it's it's really nice. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, Acacia belliana kudamandra kudamandra wattle. I got it. Um, so 
The leaf on this one, as I was talking about, it's retaining its bipinnate structure. Um, so, oh, this is a branch. Like, for example, this is a leaf. Sorry, I'm trying to let it stand out. This this whole th this whole thing that is a leaf. You see, it's pinnate, bipinnate, and all the leaflets are on it. And of course, this one is reproductively mature and it's retaining its bipinnate leaf throughout its life. And since we're talking about the Kudamandra wattle, it's actually invasive in some parts of the world. Um, it's a really nice species. It's beautiful, but it is invasive. So plant it with some caution um, to see if it will escape. Um, these are its seed pods. It hasn't matured yet. Um, it hasn't, yeah. Oh, and um, to uh, another acacia, I believe this is Acacia Murtifora, I'm sorry, Murtifolia. Let me check the name tag. Oh, where is the name tag? <sighs> yep, yeah. So, this is Acacia Murtifolia. Um, it's referring to the leaf. Folia is, you know, the leaf and it's referring to the resemblance of the leaf to myrtles and something personally i think that was helpful i guess was if this is a phyllode you will see the orientation of this phyllode is actually like sort of um i don't know if this is per perpendicular or parallel it's like the orientation the flattened patio would be if you think of you know a patio a patio growing out of the stem, no, oh, I don't know if it's in focus. Yeah, if you think of a petiole growing out of the stem and leaves on top of it, so if there were leaves and the stem goes this way, the leaves will be sort of flat like this, but the petiole is flat like this, and that's how sometimes you know those phyllodes can be told apart. At least in at least in my experience, you know they are. Like their surface plane goes in parallel with the direction the 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 if you if you draw a vector that's the direction of the, the where the branch is growing and uh, yeah this one's sorry for my hand <laughs> um, yeah those are the seed pods this one isn't ripened yet either but their seeds are very um, very long-lived um, they usually require some sort of means to break the dormancy for example boil them pour hot water on them and let it sit and cool down when i first tried it i was really afraid i was gonna kill the seeds um, but yeah i've never killed any seeds like that actually and for some species i even try to boil them in water for a couple of minutes or one or two minutes and then let the water naturally cool down and that's how you can break the dormancy. Um, their seeds are usually little hard black seeds um, that don't really swell if you put it in water, but if you boil it, it will actually swell and then you can tell if the seeds are, are you know, a dud or they're actually um, full and can grow into a plant. Um, all right, so let me, let me stop rambling about acacias and you have an idea of the bipinnate species there and the phyllode species there and there is huge diversity in them they're usually most of them have yellow flowers just different shades of yellow and great species um yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you next time